I V M. Sometimes it feels like all the weight of the world has fallen onto my shoulders, and it usually happens on my downtime while I'm enjoying a nice game of cricket. It's like my family realizes that I'm watching cricket and just rush to ruin it for me. Then my mom will come and ranting about some problem with the neighbors. My wife will come and shouting about how we need to redo our kitchen. Plus, also some problem with the neighbors. And my daughter will come and angry at me because the color of the new car we bought is not what she had wanted, which is apparently the biggest crime a father can commit. Plus, of course, some problem with the neighbors. Hmm. Ah, if only things could be just the same, even if something were to happen to me. Unless. www.hdfclife.com select select done hmm things aren't so bad after all live calm with hdfc life click to protect life the life protect option protects your family from financial uncertainty visit hdfclife.com to know more and for terms and conditions Here's your smart fact of the day. Give me a five letter word which is somewhat connected to the word novel and be quick about it. I'm on Wordle. Yeah, Wordle. This wonderful new game that you can download. It's an app and damn, I'm not an ad but what a game, what a game. And by the way, its founder, you know, the guy who was uh, the software engineer his name is Josh Wardle by the way he released a simple online game you know it was free in october and it has already been sold for an undisclosed seven figure sum to guess whom the new york times welcome to smarter with sids episode on how did wardle become so sensationally successful and try to figure out a little deeper truth on what makes games addictive let's go so if i look at the three games that have been really successful in the last say decade or so which have caught popular imagination and no gamers i'm not talking about you know your multiplayer online games which are so intricate and beautiful and all of that not that i'm talking of the general joes and janes who you know end up playing games because they are you know such uh you know time pass stuff really uh one of the things uh, that i would certainly go for is angry birds you know angry birds was something that was that just took the world by storm and um, it was so irritating and it was so fun and angry birds was something which kind of became a bit of a sensation really sure so there are some people who swear by brick breaker and homescapes and stuff like that but angry birds i think all of us have heard we've had t-shirts of angry birds remember angry birds was obviously also kind of complemented with the whole pokemon thing and pokemon was also an extremely successful game and that for the first time actually looked at you know augmented reality and it worked a lot uh, to fire up imagination amongst its cohort so you have pokemon then you also have something that came up in the pandemic which is among us and uh, that was a particularly interesting game because it was uh, a multiplayer game and it was something that was uh, you know had a twist in the tail and it kind of was played a lot by people suffering from the lockdown effects of a pandemic and uh, connecting to strangers was never Uh, better you had youtube channels of celebrities playing among us and it was quite a quite a delight to actually hear some of those videos and and uh, to listen to some of the videos and that kind of became a thing in fact some of the ways in which these uh, games have become popular is when influencers and celebrities have started using it and then making content around it so it's got its own slipstream isn't it so you have a game that is being played and then you have people commenting on the game and it's a strange crazy world that we live in now this brings us to wordle which is the latest sensation on the block really and i am addicted to it as are you and for the uninitiated i don't know how many of us are uninitiated to wordle but wordle is you know just a website and you can play on the website itself and that's the starting point game challenges players to find a five letter word in six guesses and there are uh, there's a time thing happening basically 
A new puzzle is published every day and players can post how quickly they solve the colorful grid on social media. Now that is one big clue. Can your game capture people's attention on social media? So I was talking about, you know, content being created out of a game being played and people's reactions. What is this? I mean, did we ever figure out that instead of watching cricket and football and rugby and, and actual real sports, you are going to watch people's reactions and comments as they play online games? And now we have people who share their results on social media saying, hey, I did this and it's amazing. And it's got the little amount of mystery because obviously it is not uh, spoiling the answer for people who are still playing it. But essentially, it is a very interesting sort of way in which social media is used. Now, social media was also used for Among Us and now it is used, used for Wordle. But Wordle is kind of taking it even a little further by keeping that element of mystery around things. And well, a new puzzle is published every day. Yeah, so that's there. The game is so addictive that I think one of Pakistan's ministers or somebody was caught playing Wordle while he was trying to solve some sort of crisis in the country. And it, you know, caught people's attention on uh, with the media and it be became a quite a big thing and it's become meme worthy immediately. I think the core aspect of any game like this and Wordle is one of those is the deeper biological roots that this game is actually impacting. So let's do a deeper dive on why a game like this is successful. Essentially, if I look at this game, it is simple enough for anybody to play, but it is still irritatingly difficult to master. I think that is the first thing. If I look at any game that's too easy to play, obviously it is not going to, you know, it's just boring, blah. And if it's too difficult, then, you know, I'm going to give up after a few turns. Well, that's basic, you might say. What else you got? Well, what else I got is the fact that have you seen Wordle and the way in which it works? What it does is that it allows you to see patterns in your head when you're actually looking at these words and you're kind of using your brain in a different way, right? So there's, let's assume you're trying to make a four-letter word and you're making that four-letter word and you're trying to guess amongst the scrambled letters, which, uh, which is that four-letter word? your mind starts looking at unconscious patterns. And what I have noticed when I was playing the game is these patterns actually are being played out in a very habitual way, in a very subconscious way. And it the game becomes interesting, but also addictive because it is connecting to patterns which are coming from not your conscious aware brain but somewhere deep within with within your subconscious so you're seeing patterns you're putting them out together sometimes you're right sometimes you're wrong and that's how that's how it works so i think the success of wordle and perhaps a lot of other games is the fact that they can quickly become a habit by hacking through your conscious brain and going directly and sitting in your subconscious and i've seen so many people play tetris i've seen so many people play homescapes and it allows them to just be free of their conscious brain and why is that important why is that important i think it's extremely important for people who are leading stressful or sometimes mundane boring lives when they want to not be burdened by their extremely conscious thinking mind that is when a game that allows you to escape yourself, you know, escape yourself with the very least of effort. I mean, you can escape yourself, of course, by going for a 10 kilometer run, but that's a lot of effort. And actually, I think that the competition that Wordle is giving is not only to other games, but it's giving it to other activities that are used for um, you know, uh, getting away from it all. So it could be a nice walk somewhere or it could be meditation or it could be listening to music or it could be... And it does become an addiction. But that is its success. Of course, mind you, I'm not promoting this. I'm saying that maybe we need to play it in its limit. Just, you know, let me finish this word. <laughs> this is what I'd say. By the way, I think New York Times buying Wordle 
is an incredible idea because New York Times is trying to increase its online subscriptions. And I think it is trying to promote a certain set of values, which uh, is all about words. It's all about language. It's all about getting people, uh, you know, to be more erudite with, with their, uh, you know, uh, usage of words and grammar and, and the rest of it. And I think Wordle fits in beautifully. Now, people are scared that New York Times might start charging for Wordle. And obviously, you know how the internet is. It wants everything free. And a business model question mark looms over all of us who are so addicted to this game. The future is interesting. I wonder what the New York Times will do. I wonder what this app developer will do after selling it out to New York Times. Is he going to, you know, kind of retire into a country house somewhere in in, uh, in the world? Or is he going to make a better and better version of world? Or is he going to come up with another game? I'm up for that. I hope you like this particular episode of Smarter with Sid. I uh, thought that we, we could talk a little bit about Wordle, but perhaps go down to first principles and understand what makes a game addictive really and figure out whether, you know, we can use that for positive purposes uh, as we move ahead. And by the way, if you like this podcast, you can also like and rate this podcast, right? You can also click on the notification bell to get to know as soon as the latest episode drops and do subscribe to the podcast. It'll help us in a long way are you can obviously also connect with me on uh, linkedin and instagram i'm the traveling professor and uh, if you like podcasts like these hey just go for ibm podcasts they've got a lot of wonderful stuff check it out until next time then. Hi, I'm Rohan Joshi, and on my podcast, the show about crypto, I've been having some pretty cool conversations with industry experts about what exactly cryptocurrency is and what makes it so exciting. If you haven't already, please check it out on the IBM Podcasts Network. Now, a quick shout out to my fellow crypto heads. We've got a listener survey going on, which will take not more than 10 minutes of your time to fill out. So please check the link in the description and help me out by filling it up. Don't forget to tune into a show about crypto on the IBM app and wherever you get your podcasts from. Hey, everybody, it's been another great week on the IBM Podcast Network. On Storytellers and Storytellers, Vineet talks to filmmaker and production designer Uzair Merchant. He shares how he's created the world's first ever NFT music video. On The Habit Coach, Ashton talks to Joe Town, Hollywood actor and coach of the performer's mindset. They decode various aspects of the high performer mindset and how to deal with mind blanking. On Press Decode, Sarah Vagda and Prafula discuss the controversy around Joe Rogan's Spotify podcast and Netflix India's growing woes. On The Longest Constitution, Priya discusses menstruation, maternity, and disability at the workplace. And on Ikatuka Economy, Abhinav and Dr. Junjunwala discuss the effects of rising inflation. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Also, please do tell a friend. It really does help us when you spread the word about our podcast. And I'd also like to ask you if you could rate or recommend wherever you listen to our podcast. And speaking of where you listen to this show, if you're on an Android phone, do check out our new Android app. We have a brand new app with a brand new listening experience. Definitely check it out. I think you will enjoy it. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Bank of Baroda and CoinSwitch Kuber. Thank you so much for making this possible.